Hi, my name is Dr. Sam Osmanagic and I am extremely delighted to have uh, in Visoko in heart of Bosnia, Bosnian pyramid complex, Dr. Salah Al-Rashid from Kuwait. He's been uh, our friend long time, for years. He's been coming here. He's been uh, inviting me for his conferences around the Arab world. He's uh, a kind of black sheep. Namely, he tried to combine physical and spiritual aspect. And he works on spirituality, energy aspects, bringing uh, experts from different fields from around the world, introducing that knowledge among Arab countries like uh, Oman, Saudi, Kuwait, Emirates, Bahrain, Iraq, Palestine, Egypt, Morocco, and other countries. So I'd like to talk to him a little bit about his uh, latest activities. So Dr. Salah, what did I miss when I was introducing you? <laughs> what should I say more? <laughs> you shouldn't. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> actually, we are delighted. I, I keep coming to this place because Every time I bring the group, you know, like you said, they're from 20 different Arab countries and they, this, they always say this is the amazing place they, they come to. You have done so much work, and, I mean, since our last visit. We keep visiting every like few years and then this is now becoming a whole, you know, area project. It's energetic, it's a spiritual, it's physical. And that's what we look for, really, because I, I establish centers around the world, and they are holistic centers. They deal with the well-being. You know, well-being is like physical, mental, and social, spiritual. So that's why this is one of our main places that we come to, and everybody's enjoying it. I just, God bless you, you know, doctors, um, for what you're doing, and everybody should really you know, support you in your mission. This is not just your mission, this is like all of us, our, our all missions. So thank you for what you're doing. You know, what we're doing is just a little work against what you're doing. Dr. Salah, you are one of the first donors in our beautiful park, Rame II. It's been um, probably seven, eight years now. So you were here from the beginning looking at the park and it was the park only. Now it is filled with about 65 different installations. So, what are your thoughts about it? My thoughts is I feel guilty that <laughs> we haven't done so much, you know, for what you have done. I, I know you've been with this huge mission, been struggling, but I'm glad that we, be, you know, we were we hosted you in Dubai and in Kuwait and in other areas. We've translated your book and we're going to look at the other books too. So. We, you know, we're supporting the mission. Uh, what I saw first, this place, I thought, what is he going to do? You know, this is. But now you, you're always a man of vision. You know, now I see what you're doing. You know, and this this is good. I'm glad we we shared with you, me and all my friends, whether it's Harry Oldfield or Konstantin Kurtkov or the other, you know, scholars and scientists that we've also hosted there and the the other countries so I'm glad we've been from the beginning and we're going with you. Good. <laughs> Dr. Salah, your latest project is in Egypt. What exactly are you doing there? Alexandria, we've, we've established one of the biggest holistic centers and I've uh, partnered with one of the huge businessmen in Alexandria. We've taken a, a hotel there and changing it into a health also resort. Um, I've also taken a few acres around between each uh, Cairo and Alexandria where we've turned them all to organic gardens and so all our food is just like you know yours you do here it comes also from our own fields and so it's becoming we've started with the mental issues first that's you know my major I'm a clinical psychologist so that's we started with this but now it's expanding to really include physical and spiritual also issues you know. Wonderful. Now, tell me, what's your feeling about the Arab world? Those ideas about the spirituality, openness, 
Are they coming there more and more, or it's kind of stagnation? I think it's coming more and more. You know, at, uh, 20 years ago we really struggled. You know, when we started, you know, more than 23 years ago. So it's, it was it was a big struggle because we struggled with the religious uh, ideas uh, and we struggled with the political. You know, whenever, whenever there was a gathering, they thought it was political. Whenever we spoke about something, they thought it's against religion. So. It was a big struggle at the beginning, but now you could see, you know, even in the permits here, every time I come here, I find some, you know, people from the Middle East, from all over, you know, that now it's it's becoming better and better. And especially the Gulf area, you know, nobody really notices, but the Gulf, the Gulf countries, you know, they're, they're getting more and more enlightened, you know. I've hosted so many trainers, you know, they're international trainers, and they always say the same thing. It's this is a group we've never seen groups like them, like then MacTaggart, you know, like uh, Joe Dispenza, and like you know all, all Raymond Francis and all those guys that came to the area. It's, so I think it's coming better and better, you know, every time. Especially like you know, we do, you know, in the Arab country we really don't have democracy, but in in our countries it's still a little bit soft, you know. So with softness, people keep developing as long as they don't use power and, and violence, it's, it keeps developing. So in the Gulf countries, I think, in special, but that does not belittle the other Arab countries, which also have very enlightened people. And of course, you've seen so many of them coming here, you know. Dr. Salah, you are very popular among uh, people, men, and especially women, in Northern Africa, Middle East. And we can see every time you're bringing them, they are common people, they are sometimes a higher class. So when can we expect more groups here at the Bosnian Pyramid Society? Starting from this year, we also do the sports and training. We have every morning we have yoga and Tai Chi and so on. That, that's also possible to do here. So I think starting from next year, to be really exact, I'm going to bring more groups. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you.